Hello, this is Falterfire, and I'm streaming another randomized deck run, uh, this time with Rowden. I'm going to go ahead and start by buying everything. Um, I just have to go and import the deck. So, let's see what we've got. Siphon card, so a discard outlet. Gambler's Focus, Resolute Focus, and Chilling Focus are, are our other discard, uh, or not discard, our other mana cards, and those are all pretty reasonable. Uh, that's actually a much better set of mana than I'm used to getting. We don't have anything like uh, Infected Focus with no poison, or Patient Focus, which I just don't like, or, uh, any th or Void Focus with no discard. We have just mana cards that actually seem useful, which is a nice surprise. We also have Enrage, which is Mighty and Vulnerable. We have Block. Uh, we have Spell Scry. We have Restorative Shield. So we've got two Shield cards, at least. Uh, plus Shielded Strike. So we've got three Strikes. We've got Shielded Strike, Piercing Strike, and Triple Strike, which is a good amount of damage. And we have Flammable Bolt, so we have a spell to go with Spell Scry. This is weird. All of our cards actually do things. That's unusual. Let's look at the rest of the list. So we have increasing mana. So we've got a mana card in our uh, in our gold list, which is nice. We've got Predator's Focus, uh, Treasure Map, which we do have a Siphon card, but probably still doesn't do much for us. We have Mind Seed. We have Energize, but no exhaust Exhaustion Synergy right now. We have Mana Shield and Resolute Focus, which are both solid. So one of the notes is this Resolute Focus. We do have, I guess, four skills to go with it, so it should be fine. Something to keep in mind, though, with it. Uh, we have Haunted Memory, Void Visions, Moonlit Reverie. Don't really think it's worth going over all of these. I guess we'll just see what happens during the run. So, Mana Crystal is a good start. Let's take... Um, Void Visions is okay. It's just a thing to have. I don't love it, but... I don't really like any of these, so we'll take it. Uh, this is generally pretty good on Rowden. We do have a Chilling Focus, and we do have at least one spell in our deck to begin with, so that doesn't seem like a bad choice. Uh, we can go... We can hit two Piercing Warbots, which is a decent thing. Uh, I think I value that more than hitting this friend. So let's start here. And see what we can find. Alright. So let's go ahead and play that into the Resolute Focus. Discard that. And then just do some damage. Since we're already vulnerable, I think we'll just be even more vulnerable. Guaranteed crit on enemies with shields get some shield of our own. Fortunately, we will be able to block these hits. Um, yeah, we do have damage, but it's, you know, it's not the best damage. Discard that again. We can go play this twice, just for bonus value. And we will take an arcane proc here, which will take us to only five, but still in pretty good shape. Only took two total damage there. Uh, I think we take the Mind Seed. Mind Seed's just a pretty solid card, and I don't really love either of those. Uh, the Piercing Strike is pretty good against uh, the... these things. Dweels. It does mean that we're going to take some damage here, to pl having played that in Rage, but... I think it's worth it. I think we get enough damage out of that, and we can... We do have some healing in our deck, as you can see. Uh, pitch that. Get close to getting that kill. Should be able to tap it in next turn. And once again, we may as well enrage because we're taking the damage anyway. Our one big thing challenge right now is that we don't have a good way to actually get status procs, which means that we're not able to do anything with Rowden's, um, 
level 4 passive, which we would really like to be able to do. Uh, I would love to have access to a bit more freeze. And we will see if we can pick that up. Uh, I don't hate having Mighty Punch. Because it just does a lot of damage. Um, I think we're doing enough strikes that this is pretty good. And then we can play all of these. I would love to pick up the weapon that is um, that you burn enemies when you. Uh, I don't think I actually went to play this in Rage. Sorry, you burn enemies when you do things. Let's actually target that. We burn enemies with uh, strikes because then we would be able to actually get crits off with our um, who's my what but so step one is to deal with that we can then activate this finish off that kill we are going to take a lot of damage from this uh, wisp which is unfortunate uh, we could get one evade there courtesy of that thing we have of the uh, plus of a chance off of our weapon we did get that mana dance which I kind of wanted and we can upgrade I'm trying to think what we like best here the restorative shield I don't hate uh, the shield of strike I do shield of strike is just very bad I, I'm just not a fan at all I, I like mind seed a lot this is one of the better because this is one of the rare mana cards where you get more than, where the upgrade, you not only get plus two mana, but you also get additional value on top of that. Uh, because, for example, if you look at, like, mana dance, you get plus two mana, but that's the only benefit you get. Or you look at chilling focus, and you get plus one mana and plus one frost. Uh, and, like, this is plus two mana, but no other benefit, plus two mana, no other benefit. This, we get an extra growth as well, so it's the best mana upgrade that we can get. So we will take that. Um... I think we actually do want to Mighty Punch. Let's see what we get. Uh, yeah, just play this. Um, get to evade that hit because we are good at evading. We unfortunately don't have a good way to avoid this damage from this shock, so we are just going to get shocked. Nothing we can do about that, uh, but we can just play out the rest of the hand. So. Get shocked, take some damage. Um, we are completely safe to play that. And then we can just lay in some damage. Uh, so, we are very shocked. We are going to take a lot of damage here. We can evade one of these hits. Uh, I don't think the shrivel is likely to be in, end up being worth it. Let's go ahead and get our mighty up since we're going to be vulnerable for a while now anyway. That could have been a lot worse. Uh, we can mighty punch. Get close to getting lethal here, but not quite, unfortunately. And that's going to be a heal and then an extra turn. But overall, I would say that this went pretty well. Again, not quite lethal. Don't really need that in rage. Oh, I didn't realize that. Still had that up. Oh well. Let's see. Uh, increasing mana is pretty good, but Elemental Conflux means that we will finally be able to actually start doing Elemental procs, which is really nice. Um, Sword and Shield, I think, is a little bit better than that Tiny Evade chance. Uh, I think we will upgrade the Elemental Conflux so that it will be a lot more reliable. And then we will remove... Um, I think the Shielded Strike is kind of my least favorite of our strikes. And then we're going to work our way up towards this. Uh, Adept Robes is, I think, worse for us. Witty Charm is okay, because that just gives us some extra card draw. I think we'll take that. 
Because we are not exactly closing out fights quickly. I don't think I want to play this in Rage. Um, I do want to do that, though. Because that's going to let us finish up this kill, which is pretty nice. There was a risk that we would have ended up getting uh, shocked from this, from playing the Gambler's Focus, but figured that I would rather risk it. No, not to that's my hand. I'm not very smart sometimes. Uh, we are not going to get shocked here, though, fortunately. We are going to take some damage. And this turn I'm fine doing that, because it only takes six. And we may get uh, debuffed by these guys anyway. Is this... no. So that gets us that kill. Oh, that's unfortunate. But we can ruin that person. We can ruin the uh, Shock Wisps today. Which is good for us. Now we're vulnerable. Go ahead and do that. Let's look at us. More damage. And then get this kill. Yeah, still not quite stable on health, which I don't love, but what are you going to do? Answer, take damage. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. Um, I think I'm actually fine in Raging because I'm going to play, play this Mana Dance, which means that we are not in danger of getting... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm willing to do this because it means we get this kill this turn. So we are going to evade this hit, but we are also going to be bleeding now. do that though. And let's go. And we get another mana dance. That's pretty great. Alright. This fight can be tricky. Will it be tricky? We will find out. Uh, we can do that. Get another stack of wits in case this fight goes long. Uh, hmm. I think I'm willing to risk well, no, because we're not going hmm. to... So we did that. So I think at that point, I am willing to, to take that. Gets us a good amount of damage, because da we also have a damage bonus against frozen things, because we're routing. Um, and then the hope is that we will be able to pick this kill up. Yeah, I was really hoping that we weren't going to get exactly that. Which was foolish of me, I realize now. Unfortunately, the Frost procced first there and ate the purity stack. I was really hoping that um, the Arcane Detonation would eat the um, eat the purity stack for us. Um, okay, so we aren't going to get an Arcane proc. We can set up uh, Vulnerable. Does this just get us this kill? This is pretty close. Yeah, taking more damage from um, this arcane proc. But overall, things could be going a lot worse, I would say. Although I would obviously be happier if... Um, Let me see. Will this give me enough damage? No. All right, that will though. And then this will at least do something for us. Uh, and we will evade one hit, and we will still it will still only hit our shield, which is very nice. We are happy with that. Uh, likewise, we are pretty happy with haunting. Okay, um, I don't think we can play Singularity. That seems like a bit of a long shot for us. Lingering Ritual seems like more of a long shot. 
Um, I can re-roll for the heal, or I can take Curse of the Forest. Curse of the Forest is pretty good on Rowden. Um, Vindictive Aura seems pretty okay. I think we upgraded that to be even more. Uh, I don't know if we have any ways to get Adept, though. And that upgrade is mostly valuable if we have Adept. Uh, I still don't hate that upgrade. I think we're probably cutting the Piercing Strike next. Um... We upgrade the Curse of the Forest and cut... See that or we upgrade around the Mana Dance. I think we upgrade the Curse of the Forest and cut the Piercing Strike. Alright, so we can fight... I like this path. We get to fight two Elites, three Elites total. Uh, we don't get to go after the Elemental Strike, which is a bit sad. But we do get a chance at picking up... Um, mana cards here, which is nice. I actually don't hate Burning Focus because it turns on our flammable bolt, which is nice. Um, it's a Curse of the Forest, which it should blow this guy up. Because your evade does nothing here. Friend. Let's go get some damage in. Have a bad day. Yep, there's Burning Focus. We take those. Um, yeah, I'm fine being vulnerable because I'm going to evade one of those hits. And then I'm actually going to do this here because this shuts it down basically for two turns because it, it's going to negate the uh, arc. It won't have Arcane Rune next turn, which is very important. Uh, let's delete this friend. And now we take some damage. Not a ton, but some. Oh, hey, we got this back. Um... I don't think it's quite be lethal, but it will get us very close. Uh, that kills you. And then triple strike kills you. Everything's work coming up. Routing. Uh, do I want to reroll? I don't think so. I think I want to save my rerolls probably for all eights. Uh, I don't hate taking the powerful. I don't hate the extra growth. I think we're doing okay on growth now that we have the uh, Curse of the Forest. Weak in the woods, as I like to call it. Um, that gives us healing. Let's actually set up vulnerable first. Because then we can apply even more arcane. Punk. I'll just go and do that and get the heal. So unfortunately, um, gets to set up some plated stacks. All right. But. I don't know why I played that. Whatchamacallit last. It obviously didn't do anything for us. And we can go boom. So there is one of the plated stacks dealt with. And we're now evading both of these hits, which is nice. And we get a guaranteed crit off the flammable bolt, which means that seems like an entirely reasonable thing to do with um, this bonus damage. Uh, this does even more damage. Let's leave it that. Set up vulnerable. Evade both these hits. Shock Phoenix is having a bad day. We do not feel bad at all about doing this to it. Pop. Okay, we will reroll for Shocking Focus here. Because Shocking Focus is very good. And we can pretty soon start cutting these, these weaker mana cards that we have that we don't really care about. Um... 
I just want to shut down the buffs that were being set up. No, we don't need to play that. We ha are at max recoverable health. Let's start with... Punch. So we can get a guaranteed crit on the front enemy. Let's see. Hmm. We can get this kill, which I think is the play. Because that's going to reduce the damage we take here because it means that um, there's fewer enemies for the uh, pack, hunt, pack tactics to care about. So it ends up working out quite well for us. Um, I don't think we want to enrage. I think we will have a punch, though. All right, so we are going to get to evade a couple of these hits. Gambler's focus is a little risky, so we're not going to play it. We don't actually get to freeze this time, but... We still get a lot of value. And we can get the freeze off of that. Which means we're fine to play in rage. Uh, let's play that. So we can get some heals and then get the kill. Uh, Defiant Howl's pretty medium. I don't hate it. Don't love it. I'm trying to remember what the other card this guy drops is. Uh, we'll take it. I think we're fine discarding that. Uh, we can get a freeze. Unfortunately, we can only get one easy freeze because this is a boss, but may as well take the one we can get, especially because that then gets us a bunch of growth. Uh, start with setting that up. I think we will not get mighty. I think we don't want to get more damage. Well, no, nah, it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? And then I will do that. We are now shocked. But that was going to happen whether or not I was vulnerable. And we can evade at least a couple of these hits, which is a nice bonus. Haunch. All right, so we're going to take some damage here, but we are within the range that we can... It didn't do enough damage to us to get us out of healing range, which is nice. It's also nice because it means that this will now crit. Uh, let's start by doing that. So we can Mighty Punch for shocked damage. And we are very good. That heal was annoying, but... The shocking focus actually would shock us, so probably don't want to do that. And now we need just basically anything to finish off this damage. Like so. Uh, Frenzy Rage is okay. Chimera form, though, gives us a way to get mighty that doesn't ruin our deck. Um, Duplication Tome is incredibly good. This gives us... Okay, right. This still... I really wish that this upgrade gave Powerful 2 this turn per enemy alive because um, as is, I don't, I don't... I just don't think it's that valuable. This gives us extra turns of Mighty and Tough. That's not bad. Uh, let's do that and then cut the Enrage, I think. And hey, immediately set that up. We'd still love to be able to do Adapt, but... Uh, let's get mana. Let's... I think just get this. Do this, even though... 
I could have gotten this kill outright. I think I like um, getting all those arcane procs because if we'd used it on the first one, we would have only gotten one because then the enemy would have been dead. It would have been unfortunate. Uh, and then go with this one because it had an extra stack of pack tactics. Evade one hit, and the other hit just doesn't do enough to break our shield. Um, so ideally the way this goes is that we stop either one of them from uh, causing problems, which we can do. Because we can just blow them up. And Corn Focus is great. Uh, Frost Frag is also okay. Frost Frag gives us another way to get freezes out. I do really like Cornered Focus, but I think we'll take the Frost Strike. I think we're doing okay on mana right now. I don't love this guy. I kind of think I like Duplatoming just to try and beat through this before, as much as possible because it's going to set up so much uh yeah see it sets up five plated so we just really needed to do as much damage as possible here while we could because yeah you can see that now that it has all that plated there's just not that much we can do to actually hurt it and it's got taunt so it's the first it, we, we have to deal with it first uh, this kills it. And then we can ruin your day. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. Yeah, it's a, it's a guaranteed crit, but only if you actually connect, which uh, is not going to happen. But we at least get to block all these hits. Oh, right, because of the... I forgot to count for the burn damage. So, take a little bit of damage, but... Do that, and then delete. We could have afforded the Singularity, it turns out, but... I like a week in the woods more. We'll take a Rocky Hug. Hmm... Do we copy these two and just lay into the front? I think we do. I think we just paunch, paunch. Because it makes our this turn a little bit easier. Uh, so close. Unfortunately, we are going to get Arcane proc twice this turn. I was really hoping that wasn't going to be what happened. We are unfortunately also going to be Arcane Leaked, which means we are probably going to eat another Arcane proc here. Which I can avoid by just not playing any cards, but we are going to get arcane proc when the enemies hit us back, so we may as well take one of them down. Hello, would you like to spend a week in the woods? The answer was no. Uh, Gleaming Aegis. There's some ways to get purity. Hooray! which makes the uh, Cursed Horseshoe a lot better. Um, Shield Blood is also very good. I think we're doing okay. I think we can take the Weak Horseshoe. And Witty Charm is okay, but we are fine with dumping it.
Unfortunately, we do not have our Gleaming Aegis turn one, so we just have to get burned. But... I think we want to do that. Go boom. We're definitely playing this. Um, we are actually reasonably safe to play the horseshoe. Uh, question is just like, do I want to play this? This pops the babies, which I think I'm fine with. Set up that and shut down one of the babies. Unfortunately, that thing shielded so it didn't actually just burn out that turn, which was what I was hoping was going to happen. Oh, right, I can't copy the... Anyway. We take a small amount of damage there, but nothing too bad. Let's see. I can copy these two. Will that let me actually do anything? Um, let me get this kill without relying on the burn, which would actually be okay. Um, and I can actually play the shield as well. And the reason I want to do this is that it means that, uh, we just don't take damage, which I like. Or don't take as much damage, I guess. Uh, let's delete you. See, that's, uh, that's a problem. That's what happens when you, you end up getting stacked with a whole bunch of burn and all of your evade stacks have been eaten by um, the babies. Forgetting we have um, the Vindictive Aura, which actually means that the um, the heal from that other thing is less important. Probably end up cutting that card, I guess. I don't actually hate having just a second elemental conflux. I don't hate upgrading it either. Uh, and then I think we cut. Hmm. It might be the Resolute Focus. It might be the Defiant Howl. It might be the Siphon card. Or, yeah, the block can go. Who needs defensive cards? Uh, so we can't fight. So we can fight two elites on either path, but I value these elite fights more. Uh, and the reason we can't fight three is because if you look, this path sort of skips around the Shadow Bone Elemental, but I don't really love the Shadow Bone Elemental's cards, so. Uh, let's lock these two down. I could destroy this with the uh, Curse of the Forest, but I think I would rather just because these are the 20 damage arcane uh, detonations from being uh, frozen and shocked. There's Frostrun doing its job. Yeah, 
we are now fairy curse uh let's go and get that kill it does mean that this gets the powerful stacks but we get to evade those hits so we don't care uh let's get chimera form and then just hmm i don't know why uh but our enemies do not seem to enjoy being sent for a week in the woods we don't quite get the kill here but we get very close and then anything else to finish it off uh, Persecute seems okay. We'll take that. Uh, this actually seems okay. We don't have that many spells, but extra damage against frozen targets is nice. Is it more valuable than just plus one damage per strike? Actually, probably not. Not when we can also get extra damage from strikes from that. All right. Let's go. Bonk. Let's go. Put this down and draw some cards. I'm a professional distributor of bad days. Uh, you can have a bad day. And you can continue to have a bad day. You don't get to hide yourself. And you'll notice that like having those two arcane, uh, those, those two elemental complexes mean that we just gain growth really quickly with um, Rowden's passive. Which is quite convenient for us. All right, we're gonna get a little bit of damage here again, but boom. And we have our we have Arcane Barrier from the uh, Gleaming Aegis, which is why uh, that took damage. Uh, let's duplatome things, because this should get us the kill, I think. Certainly that one. Punch. Punch again. And between the Howl and the Vindictive Aura, we got up to full health. Take a dead at night. There's some more curse application. I really like being able to just throw out some curses. Um, tend to find that pretty valuable. Uh, this will not apply the fail, but it should apply the other two. Oh, it didn't apply the curse, because the curse is first, but actually I'm happiest with getting the other things. I think the curse was the least valuable part of that nonsense that we just did. I should be considering duplatoming the uh, Rocky Hive. And I also should consider upgrading the Rocky Hive. It's also tempting to duplatome the Cleaming Aegis because all that purity is pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. Get those all set up. I'm sure that we should have that for the rest of the fight. Purity stacks are just very handy. Okay, sure. If you want to uh, go for a week in the woods, uh, happy to send you. And there are all of those plated stacks just gone. Oh, right. I forgot about the evade. Oh, well. Actually taking some... Uh, some some damage below recoverable health for the first time in a bit. Um, I think this is a kill. Yep. I think I like freezing so that we don't get a round, another round of buffs out of uh, that friendo. Almost out of... Just apply a bunch of arcane.
so that's going to guarantee crit. And then we can clean me just for the shield, even. Um, we're not going to get a freeze here, but we'll get the other two off. Just the big guy left. And this has been a longer fight, but it has all been coming up us, so I am not sad. Yep, I guess we'll get Arcane Proc, but who cares? We got the kill. I actually don't hate the Prismatic Shield, but I would rather have gotten uh, the other thing. But I'll take it. Uh, hmm. I think we got the Spell Scry. I don't necessarily love the shuffling. Uh, and it can only draw us exactly a flammable bolt, which is pretty underwhelming. And I don't think we're going to end up picking up any more spells at this rate. So that's 14. Okay. Let's start by doing that. And then pop and pop and pop. Actually, let's go ahead and just do this, I guess, because that'll get us another... Very unfriendly. Uh, we'll do that. And finish off with that. <laughs> Getting value out of all of those barriers. I said I was going to copy that, but I don't think we need to. Because uh, we just get the kill here, and then this friendo is still frozen from mistakes made when fighting us previously. Okay, right. it's your turn to go on an all expenses paid vacation to the woods. Have fun. Editor's note, Prowler did not have fun. Punk. And I'll take a hungering focus. Uh, this is actually pretty good. We do have two runes that we set up, but I don't know that it's more valuable than just having the extra damage. Uh, it's certainly, of them, the only thing we're, we would consider. Uh, are we fine taking minus one damage in exchange for getting extra rune? We'll try it. We'll see what happens. I probably should have removed something. wasn't paying attention. Uh, we'll upgrade... The Dead of Night's okay. I think we upgraded the Rocky Hide. I think Plated 2 is a pretty good uh, improvement. I would have loved to have gone into this fight. Okay, we, we drew this in, in our opening hand, which is very good. Uh, I think I will copy it and that. So that then we can persecute both of our unfriendly enemies. Let us not get cursed on turn one, which will make the rest of this fight quite a bit easier. I also think we are fine with spending on that. I'm really hoping we find mana. What are we actually playing this turn? Because the question is if we're going to play the Curse of the Forest. I think not. I think we are playing the Rocky Hide, the, Chim the Chimera form. Uh, the Frost Strike, and then we are just going to shut down that nonsense. Because it did not seem like it would be good for us. We can... I think we'll play that before we Dead of Night. God, the fact that we just casually froze with the uh, Frost Ruin off of uh, Hungry Focus is pretty nice. That feels pretty great. 
that's not quite a freeze. That's not going to be a freeze either, though. But this still has a vulnerable stack, so. Fortunately, now we are going to just have to eat all of these curse procs. And I can tell you, they are not delicious. Oh, I should have uh, played this first. play that because uh, I think this stops the if we get this kill I think it stops the um, should have done that first and get the extra we're still gonna get this kill uh, it stops the oh no we're still we're already doing it I wasn't paying attention uh, that was just another wave of curses uh, I think Frostburn is less valuable than setting up that vulnerable We do want to make sure we get this kill before the um, Doom procs, but we do have still another turn to do that, and... Alright, so we're not going to get it quite this turn, but... Kill this turn, but we do have next turn, so as long as we, long as we draw any ways to deal damage, um, I think we're in business. That's unfortunate. We are going to just have to eat this Doom proc. got very close to not having to, but ultimately just missed it. Uh, the Crypt of Font I will take. It's a bit risky with, and we'll cut, I think, the Gambler's Focus. Um, I think we'll upgrade the Gleaming Aegis. I think just having extra uh, purity is good. I know we can't ever get the, uh, the other condition, but purity is so good. Uh, I think we want to fight these guys. I don't really love either of the cards that either of them drop. I do like fighting these guys, though. Uh, set that up. Um, I think we'll just howl. And then set up a bunch of purity. And then we can go ahead and draw. And that frost barrier. Doing work. Punch. Sooner or later we'll find. There we go. Let's shut you down. Let's. Hmm. We are going to be evading. We are going to have a pretty good evade chance. So, we are no longer um, frost barrier. So, that's a consideration. Gonna go ahead and do that because we'll just have the mana. Uh, we can't afford to play both if we copy them. Uh, this gets this kill straight up. Yeah, let's just get the kill. Yeah, we are hidden because of Dead of Night, which is a nifty little bonus. And we will copy that and that, though. Uh, we, leave, we leave hidden if we play that, but who cares, because we are now in a pretty good position. And I'm fine with being curse one because thought we were going to have that freeze, but it didn't end up mattering because our plated had us covered. Plus the tough. Uh, I want to play this. I also really want to play these two. Let's just do that. And the reason to do that, of course, is that now we've got... Man, it's like we're not... 
We don't have 50% of a chance at all. Uh, let's freeze you. Let's see what that gets us. Make your day worse. And that should be lethal from that curse. Um, Chimera form into that. Let's go ahead and punch. Take a little bit of curse damage. But nothing much. Immediately just fill it back. Now you are going to burn to death. Alright. Hunter's focus. Retake those. Uh, scroll of Recall is kind of tempting. Uh, it's, I don't think there's anything here that I would take it over, though. And it's hard for us to get to exact zero. Uh, it would be the Scroll of Blood or the Mana Crystal, I think. We'll, we'll try it over the Mana Crystal and just see what happens. It's pro That was probably wrong, but... Um... Yeah, because like here we're not going to be able to get to exact zero. Uh, let's go ahead and just ruin your day. And this doesn't break hidden because it wasn't technically a damaging card. So we're going to be able to evade some of these hits. Pretty good on those. Got, had pretty good luck on those evades. Uh, I should have been paying attention to whether or not I could hit zero before I started playing things. So we are. <laughs> get frozen. And the great thing is because they got frozen, they didn't get a chance to set up their evade. Let's see, we draw. Um, and then, yeah, I'm still happy copying these because I do really still just like getting up to that much plated. This hit and then it dies. Hmm. No, let's go do that. And then I think this is lethal. Yep. Take a little bit of damage here from the curse and that hit, but not enough to take us below our recovery threshold. So. At this point, we just have to finish out the fight. And that does it. Uh, we take another Hunter's Focus. Those are still pretty okay. Um, uh, fix that. Temporary copies of those two, so we can set up plated for. First, keep those two. Um. Beautiful. Again, with me not ju just not thinking to check if um, we were going to be able to get value out of whatever. <laughs> Evading was actually bad because we want it meant that this one didn't get frozen. We were too good at hiding. Uh, can we get to zero? No. I'll shut you down though. Uh, do I just get this kill? Nah. Because that means that we get the back-to-back -back freeze. I don't think we want to play that, though. Um. Oh, there we go. 
forget that it's not a back-to-back -back freeze because I need so much at this step. There we go. Now we just need to kill one more. taking those. Uh, doubling spyglass is still very good. I think that will do more for us than the scroll of recall will at this rate. We probably don't need the vindictive horror either, but uh, we can cut the mana shield. We can cut the siphon card. Oh, wrong button. That is not what I meant to do. Um, just clicking too quickly. Uh, and we can use, we can remove uh, the void visions. It doesn't do that much for us. All right. And then we can freeze on turn one, which is nice. It's very convenient. Letting the boss do things is just no good at all. And this isn't quite... Oh, but this will because we have Frost Rune. Now, unfortunately, we do have to let the boss have a turn, which is not my preference, but... You know what they say, you can't always get what you want. But they do say that if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. We'll find out if that's the case. Uh, pay those. Um, let me see, how much money do I have? 24. Let's start with these, and then we'll just hope that I have enough. Uh, let's just do some ridiculously unfair things. Does that sound fun to you? Sounds fun to me. So, um, how do y'all feel about um, plated eight? Does that sound fair? God, I hope so. And I should just do this because we've got all this purity that we just deliberately built up. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, just get it out of our deck. And then... Unfortunately, didn't quite hit us enough times to uh, trip any of the statuses on itself. Uh, we can do this, which will let us play that for value. I don't think we want to play that again yet. Um, actually, the Glim Aegis is in our bin, so we do actually want to shuffle. I was thinking that we were still holding it for some reason, or I thought it was still on our deck for some reason, but it definitely isn't. Unfortunately, cursed, but you know, so is the mall. Uh, this will mostly just get eaten by the purity stacks, but let us burn through all of those purity stacks in one go, which I don't hate. And we have plenty of purity stacks for on. feel bad about what you're doing? I don't ever. 
if I felt bad about what I was doing, I might be inclined to stop. Um, yeah, let's bring it. More purity. I don't know if you guys know this, but Rowden's pretty fair. Of all the characters uh, who are fair, he is one of them. Uh, I don't think the gleaming. Yeah, let's do that and that. lethal. Nice, relatively short run in which we did only fair things. Uh, we only played fairly and we only made fair choices. Uh, so yeah, that was, as randomized deck runs go, that went incredibly smoothly. As usual, we were leaning very hard on monster cards to do a lot of our heavy lifting for us. We had the Curse of the Forest. Uh, we had, of course, leaning on the same trinkets we're always using a bunch. We're using Duplication Tome, Arcane Spyglass, the Cursed Horseshoe, uh, using Hunter's Focus, using Hunkering Focus, although those were less of a feature this time. Uh, but yeah, turns out a uh, pretty good character. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.